It almost doesn't seem fair, but if the game is going to let me do it, then guess what? I'm going to do it. How's it going? Good to see you again. Here's what we got going on. So I just start, So I just loaded up my uh, save file from last time, and it already skipped me over to Monday morning. I don't know if the combat was going to be something I was able to interact with, but that was very anticlimactic. So here's the thing. Because there was a lot of time in which I was able to skip, I'm going to just take a look at these management meetings. I'm going to be taking a look at these post combine meetings. Anything else that would be available like scout players I'll take a look at that then it looks like we have the draft up next and that's definitely gonna take a while so hopefully by the end of this episode we're gonna be right on the doorstep of the draft all right we all clear I want to get you guys to the gameplay I want to get you guys to like the actual stuff and I know that this is technically the gameplay but I want to get you guys something something that you can actually see and enjoy and <laughs> and whatnot so so definitely getting another quarterback is on the radar oh <laughs> <laughs> if it isn't Cliff Kingsbury, fancy seeing you in this game. Yeah, let's just <laughs> let's give Cliff Kingsbury's angel a call. <laughs> wow. All right, they know he's a backup then. Good. He's probably as bad as the other guy. <laughs> let's take a look at Arturo Freeman. One point nine five two seventy through the years. Yeah, I'll take it. Alright, uh, I have the combine report. Sentimental attributes can be taught. Pay more attention to the player's physical attributes. Do you want to review this now? Let's get to it. I'm not going to have you guys sit there this entire thing. So instead, I'm going to show you just a, a few things. You can pause them at your own leisure. Green shows the... Is that how you spell immaturity? I don't think so. That's just hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so I did want to read, like, even the ones that I knew about. Just because I want to get a glimpse at the verbiage that they use to describe, like, what we all consider to be a really good player. And those that we already know, like, yeah, they didn't pan out in their careers. So I'm trying to figure out and feel some sort of a difference just in the verbiage that they use. Then I can get a glimpse on how well I actually trust the scouting director and everyone else on my staff. Like, how do I recognize when we agree on, yeah, this guy is collectively good, but then this guy's, eh, he's also collectively bad. Because in like, in, when it comes to this stretch, like, they didn't really give me anything differently. And I guess, like, this scout doesn't know who Devin Hester is. So, that's kind of funny. So right now, I'm going to get more information out of these linebackers. I'm probably going to do four and four on, on both sides. All 
All right, so since I made it over to a trade players, do I want to give up picks and just try to move up? Or do I sacrifice another player? All right, let's take a look at their draft picks. So they have the 12th pick, 44 down here. And then for me, second, third, third, fourth, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. You know what I could be doing? I was thinking about signing a player and then using them as trade bait. Plus this also makes me realize who should I try to get? Because right now I have eight picks right now in the draft. Do I have at least eight ideas as to who I want to try to get right now? That's a question I really can't answer. I really can't trade for any picks because I don't know what to give up properly. Just David Martin I was in a Hold out. Let's see if I can just use him real quick. Is he worth the seventh? All right, he's, he's worth the seventh. You know, my fullback might be worth something too, by the way. Because he is rather really good. So now I have three players I can either trade away, or <laughs> I guess worst case scenario, I can keep them for a one-year deal. Because they're pretty cheap. All right, now to see if this whole idea works. So, yeah, I have a funny idea. <laughs> How about I just trade him back to the Falcons? <laughs> because <laughs> that's where he was from you know so hey guys i have this uh guy by the name of kevin schaefer perhaps you have heard of him give me your first i'm trying to help you here i have to get rid of one of these draft picks jets please take a draft pick uh do you able to give up jericho country or something man everyone's so stingy in this game <laughs> Like, this just makes this Charles Woodson trade even more wild that, that I actually had that happen. Maybe it's because, like, this game values quarterbacks more. Man, I really wish I could, like, offer up, like, next year's stuff. Because I can only offer the rounds and for this year. And you guys value nothing about these late rounds. <laughs> right then... Apparently, Joko Contra is, like, your guys' lord and savior. He's among your top ten worst players on your roster. And I could even get... <laughs> wow. Alright, fine. Let's go back. And let's ask for a second. But you're, you're just gonna really get him, then. Got a second, then. It's still, mo it's still more than I deserve to get for that kind of thing. Alright, so here is the game plan. Right now... I'm thinking about signing Quincy Carter in order to either trade him to the Ravens, the next strategy. If I think that the game values quarterbacks that much, and then they realize that, hey, this actual quarterback is on par with our starter, or if not possibly better, there could be someone else that would want him. All right. Then I also want to see if there's anyone that values their fullback. Because I have one that I <laughs> I really don't need. Maybe I can get Mike Compton away. Because, yeah, he's 35, but he's also has the potential to go to a 99. Whereas everyone else just drops drastically after that. Wow, I just got a trade offer for the Broncos GM. I'll give you my defensive end driver prize for your cornerback Charles Woodson. Come back when you have some free time. Uh, Charles Woodson is no longer for sale, given the why I had to give up in order to get him. And I'm not... Trying to send Trevor back. Send him over to Baltimore, alright? You ended up doing that anyways. Let's first get rid of Quincy. <laughs> oh, jeez. He is nothing as advertised. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can get something. Let me get a six. Okay. Now let's try to get the fullbacks out of the way. Alright, let's take that six rounder out that just got. Maybe I can get a fourth? Fourth. I probably should have went higher. But yeah, let's get the guard. This is the point where I find out that everyone just says fantastic left guards. And then there's the Texans. Never mind. Okay, so the Texans are available. Yeah, everyone else apparently has just fantastic left guards all across the board. Uh, so yeah, the Viking or Texans. All right, I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna get a six, but I'm just gonna ask for a fourth then. All right, so I have two seconds. Two thirds, two four or four fourths, <laughs> a fifth and a seventh. Goodness gracious! So they only allow me to carry ten picks overall. I wonder what th three fourth round picks is worth to this team or to this game. So if I just go for like a bunch of fourth round talent, 
that could help me. I wonder how they're going to decide like what's considered fourth round talent here though. So considering how <laughs> heavily I'm trying to use the run game, I don't want to rely too much on Amon Green this season. That's so crazy. They consider Joseph Adai to be that bad. But you know what? Hey, the, the less that this game considers them to be good players, the more I'll take it. Yeah, let's just go back to defensive end. Seventy-three, eighty-nine. Jeez, he's technically sh he technically should have been better than Mario Williams in this draft class, is, is what you're saying. His speed definitely isn't there, though. Maybe that's why. But I will take one more look at these other running backs here, like Jesse Chapman right here. Like, this is just wild. Uh, let's just give him a one year. All right. Okay. Forty-seven, seventy-two. You know, I might just unironically keep him. Let's just get one. So I don't want the game to be like, Oh, well, you have the fullback. James Lynch. He's 271. I just found that. <laughs> wow. 271. Goodness, can I use you for anything? All right, well, I have a fullback. I'm definitely not going to have any fullback stuff on my playbook now. Is this what the third? Chevrolet and CBS have more than the max amount of players allowed. Right then, give me your worst player. Ooh. Ooh. Josh Cribs is right here. And you don't value him at all. That went through. Wow. Well. <laughs> Josh Cribs is with us now. It's so weird seeing him with like <laughs> 83 though. I guess I wasn't really expecting the other side of things, too, where it's like, yeah, I know who's good, and so does the game, but what if I know who's good, but the game thinks they suck? How about, how about this for a switch up? I'm going to try to get a player using one of these draft picks already, because I'm still, like, desperately looking for that left outside linebacker. So let's see who has one that I can possibly... Ask for. Hey, look, there's James Harrison. Because remember, I did, like, according to the story, like, I did come from the Steelers, so this would make sense for me to try to get one of my former players. My former young prodigies, if you will. Alright, <laughs> which of these four fourth rounders? How about my last fourth? Okay, then. Now he's listed at 58, could go up to 75. He could go, he could go up to 84. So I do want to use that to my advantage. Italius Thomas wouldn't be that bad either, actually. You know what? Let's let's see what they what they what they do with him. Third rounder then. All right, all right. He can go up to 85. If it's a scheme better, and all you have to give up was a third for a straight up trade. Simmons, I I think I'll just straight up keep at this point. Yeah, here's, here's some more of its antics that they try to pull off. All right, I, I would like some more depth of the tight end spot. Well, let's give you a call. A little bit of bonus. All right. Yeah, I think at the moment I could trade my picks to get, you know, higher picks for some other team. But at the moment, I don't really have anyone else in mind. I'm just calling up teams. <laughs> I still have three fourth rounders. I wonder how many that's worth, or a third at least. I don't know. All three fourths. I don't even want to. I don't even want to hit submit just in case it goes through. <laughs> you know what? Fifth or something. Ugh. All right, I don't even know if I wanted to do that. So right now I have one, I have two seconds, I have three thirds, two fifths, and one seventh now. Let's see what other GMs think about this kind of thing. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, so it wasn't like completely just like bonkers. Wouldn't this be interesting? If I have Aaron Rodgers and Phillip Rivers <laughs> together on the same roster. Michael Turner. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's a good thing I just randomly chose the Chargers. I want Michael Turner. Ooh, what am I willing to give him, though? <laughs> Your old fourth-round pick for Michael Turner? I have two seconds. I have three-thirds. If I just give them back this fourth, let's see what they do. All right. I have Michael Turner now. Man, this game does not know who Michael Turner is, either. Who else is left? Because... I am kind of running out of picks. I have about five picks left now. So unless I get down to a situation where all I need is five picks in order to take care of the rest of my roster. That's not going to look so likely, though. I see Peerless Price here. <laughs> He's the highest rated guy. He's 29. Even if he dips, I can still... Trade him away for something. Alright. He is up to an 80. Alright. Still respectable. Goodness gracious, the Panthers just drop off tremendously. Why do they even have Carl Hankton around? He's 36 and is terrible. You know what? Why not? They don't really become much of anything anyways. So. Give me a fourth again. Alright, let's just see what you think of this. Wow. That was a bit too easy. Yeah, maybe I should have got a third. All right, so now we have two seconds, three thirds, and one fourth. Is two thirds worth your second? They are. All right then. Because looking back, we have two. I have three seconds, one third, and one fourth. And if I don't like someone, then you know I can still trade during the draft. You know what? Honestly, these uh these corners could actually be good ditch to have. <laughs> yeah, Lenny Walls. What what is up with you? You're six four, almost two hundred pounds. You're twenty six. Why are you not on a team? You know what? Honestly, yeah. Jay Foreman, let's get you on a one year deal so I can trade you. All right, and then let's give David Thornton a chance. All right, now we have some more trade pieces or i mean guess if they don't work out then heck then <laughs> we have yeah james foreman can go to 89 david thornton can go to 87 and in that corner 83 but still respectable you know given a 6-4 guy amazing jumping geez i just realized a 6-4 slot corner that's a fantastic deal so i have 6-1 6-1 Six four, and five nine. Goodness gracious! I wasn't sure you'd be able to handle this team, but you're easily proving me wrong. Nice job. Hey hey. That's kind of the dynamic of this game. Depending on who you talk to and for what, you'll get more of a chance. That's kind of why internally I was thinking, well, I probably shouldn't be going and targeting the same GM over and over and over again, because with those. Built up, so like the the harder it might be to accept the trade, even if it is like a worthy offer. So I kept going around to different teams just to, I guess, spice things up in my head at first glance. But I was also kind of thinking about the trust situation. All right, now we're doing back to more scouting. So right now we land at one, two, three, four, five picks total. So let's get more second rounders. Third and fourth as a backup. So trying to get in that range. Let's get the ends more covered. Though I do want to continue to go with the idea that I can make Aaron Rodgers become, well, Aaron Rodgers. It wouldn't be all that responsible for me if I didn't get anything else. Which is why this Philip Rivers option. It's either Philip Rivers or uh, <laughs> Tony Romo. Because obviously Tony Romo starts in 2007 and has a 
fantastic season, but at the moment, like, Drew Bledsoe is the starter in 2006. I don't even know if I have any picks left in order to make these kind of things. Do they go for a fourth? That's, that's the lowest thing that I have to offer. Does this even go through? This does go through. Ugh. Now I don't feel all that great about the, the decision. <laughs> Funny how that works. Goodness gracious, they have him listed as even worse than Kingsbury. Oh, that's a horrible idea. Why did I do this? <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry, it, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Oh uh, gosh, that 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 sucked. Um, oh crap. Let's get that fourth rounder back, or maybe I can get a third. Titans, come on, you have a third round pick. What what can, what what do you not have? You know what? I am fairly deep at receiver. They are not. I don't know. Does does Robert Ferguson do anything for them? Yeah, they 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 don't care about him. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, Walker. Because my plan is, is that I can get Greg Jennings, I can get Brandon Marshall, I can get some other players here. Like, Javon's good now, which makes it all the more difficult to let go of him. But I think with who we want to be, who we have at QB, and who we can get in the draft, you know, there's going to be another team out there. There's gotta. Let's find one. Let's try out Washington. Yeah, that went pretty easily, actually. So now we're left with four picks in the second <laughs> and a third. This is just crazy. <laughs> I still have five picks overall, but... Coach, I'm going to need an outside linebacker. I'll give up my defensive end, Travis Hall, for David Thornton. Call me back when you have some free time. Travis Hall. Hmm. So let's go back to... Because he's a left end. Let's go back to the draft class, because now we have Tamba... We have Chris Craig. I could even have a shot at Chris Gokong. And for me to give up David Thornton, I don't know. I, I don't think i take that offer. I guess it wouldn't hurt to start scouting some of the actual other quarterbacks. Because uh, you never know who could fall in our lap later. Like, let's say it's Arise Jackson. So now let's get a few more looks at these other receivers. Are you serious? 6'7", 175? Oh my god, give that guy something to eat! My squad's looking real good, Joe. You've burned my trust. Nice. Uh, Cardinals GM, how are you doing today? I'd like to make an offer. I can really use your defense attack, Brady Jackson. I'll give you my guard, Ian Allen. Nope. <laughs> I'm not giving up Grady. Let's get a few more of these ones taken care of. Huh. Okay. Uh, coach, I'm in need of a defensive end. I'll give up my outside linebacker, Will Coleman, for Majibi and Mila. I was wondering about what I was going to do with my current defensive ends. Now, I still want Aaron Campman. Uh, uh, staff meeting. <laughs> Everyone's just so bored. <laughs> Uh, Jets GM, coach, I have an offer for you. You can take it or leave it. It's up to you. I could use a wide receiver, Josh Cribbs, and in return you can have my better linebacker. Kenyatta Wright. Well, you should have thought of that when I tried giving, when I tried making that trade for, uh, freaking Jericho Contrary, and I gave you all those picks, and now here you are with an extra metal linebacker, but then you're still needing a receiver, and you're gonna get my worst one. No. Alright? I know who he is. So, no, you're not getting that one. Yeah, Larry Chester, please get on my team. I'm, I'm just going to keep you. And then Tony Williams, I can sign to trade. Cedric Woodard, I can sign to trade. Larry Chester. I, I pressed the wrong button, but I'm glad he's on my team. 
accidentally double clicked. Your roster is currently full. Okay. Um. Oh right, Baja Biamila, that one trade. All right, I should get rid of him. You know, I'll, I'll just say, hey, screw the. <laughs> Screw the linebacker that you're going to try to get me out. Let, let me just k- take your draft picks. Do You want Biamila. You want to give me Holdman. But the problem is I don't want Holdman. So instead, are you okay with giving me Jason Campbell? And then, like, a third. Agreed. Good. Then again, I probably could have got a second. So have Rodgers, Campbell, Cliff Kingsbury, and Tony Romo. Quit the quarterback room. Now, I need a right end. Like, there's still plenty of good left end so for me to try to get so i'm not gonna be too mad about the results all right let's call this player's agent unfortunately i need, I need to let him go all right tony williams all right we accept your offer good tony williams what do you think right right there we go we have one two three four Second round picks. I have a third. I have two thirds, and I have a fourth now. It seems as if your guard agent claim is just wasting space on your roster. Um, how would I let you have my center, Jason Little, and I'll take Adrian Hop your hands free, dude? I'm gonna delete that email. That's how disrespectful that was. <laughs> Tony Romo, now a Titan. Yo, wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> yeah, because I just sent Kareem. They're not too far off from overall either. Kiesel would make more sense in the scheme, but Akbar would just be funny. <laughs> so, I can get both. I'm going to get Akbar, because that's funny. Let's get him for three years. I'll take it, good. Remember, he's just 66. You need to let him go. All right, go ahead. I just realized it's the same. It's the same agent. <laughs> All right. So now I have not Kareem, but Akbar Baja Biamila. He's sixty-two to seventy-eight. Yeah, so he was a better player. Just gonna sim over to this last office hours, and now we're gonna call it an episode. Appreciate you checking this out. And see you at the draft.